Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale joining us now. Brian, so there's a threat of rain, you say? There's a threat of rain, I say, yes. and the threat of thunderstorms. Oh. Let's take a look at it and see if we can uh, sort of beat the buzzer on this thing. Yeah, the opportunity for rain and thunderstorms is a part of the next weather maker, which is a storm system moving east across the state of Texas. Its tail will drop on down to the valley overnight tonight, so that's a cold front passing through. Overnight, chance for rain and thunderstorms. The window of opportunity, 11 p.m. to 4 a.m., and of course that would include periods of rain and lightning, and west of us and north of us, it could include some strong storms. So we're going to keep an eye on all of this. Severe thunderstorm watch issued for Kennedy, Brooks, Jim Hogg, and Zapata counties until 4 a.m. That's north of us. Here's Willacy County, that's you, Raymondville. Edinburgh, that's you, Hidalgo County. Uh, Los Fresnos, that's you, Cameron County. So you can see we're south of the watch. And a watch means that conditions exist for future development. And you can see that the development right here and now, these thunderstorm warnings that stretch north of Laredo and Webb County on back into Bear County, San Antonio, and such. But the real story is this storm system. It's moving east across the state, drawing in uh, Gulf moisture as fuel, and it plans to have one grand old night. As it moves to the east, it's going to continue to kick up showers and thunderstorms. Futurecast shows how this will impact the valley going on from 11 o'clock to midnight tonight with the best chance for thunderstorms along Webb County, Laredo, and then pushing on down in through Jim Hogg County and then eventually down toward Hidalgo County and a little bit of Star County. And then it rolls on through. Watch your clock. That's 3 a.m. now. Most of the heavy stuff hugs the front, and especially on up north. That's the dividing line. The whole thing is just turning like a big wagon wheel as it rolls east across the state. So the cooler, air, drier air is coming in on the back side. And this boundary, the blue line, is where the action is. I, what you're, you're scratching your head and going, well, what's wrong with us? Well, our atmosphere just isn't ready to play ball. It's too stable. It doesn't want to pop and bubble up. Now it might. That's the problem with the forecast tonight. If something kicks it just right, in just the right way, bam, it could pop some thunderstorms. More than just the northern quarter of Hidalgo County. So we want to watch for that overnight tonight, and we will. But the dry, windy conditions coming in behind this system, oh yeah, it is going to be seriously dry and windy tomorrow. Anyway, overnight tonight into Wednesday morning, this is the window of opportunities, I said, on through about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, and then it's done. Storm Prediction Center, painting with a fairly broad brush, has indicated the first level of severe potential does come on down in past Lynn San Manuel and the northwest corner of Willacy County and all of Star County, but the rest of the Rio Grande Valley in this light green, this more pistachio color, that is just the general thunderstorm category. But then you go on out, as I said, it, the storm system is going to have a grand old night. Indeed it is, with a threat of severe weather from Falfurius to Corpus Christi and on north toward Houston, Waco and such. Now for us, here's a good uh, bellwether. Are we going to end up with a lot of bad weather? Well, the, the prediction for rainfall says no. Even the lightning uh, from Futurecast is all well to the north of us. So again, it's going to be a real nail-biter overnight tonight. A 30% chance for rain and a couple of thunderstorms, yeah. Heading out the door in the morning, it's a whole other universe with the north wind being strong and the uh, air coming in being very dry. We've had two very humid days. Tomorrow will be not, not humid. 82 to 86 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. And that northwest wind strong enough to issue Dun, 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 a garbage can alert. Yes, uh, wind gusts of 45 miles an hour. That means we could very well see not only the super low humidity for tomorrow, but also a wind advisory in effect for the entire valley and a fire weather warning in effect for all but the coast. The seven-day forecast takes you through with, wow, what a, what a ride, huh? But then by the end of the week, Thursday and Friday, it's just beautiful, dry and mild and sunny. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. And that's what I'm sticking to it. Well, we're excited for mm -hmm. that. We do need a little bit of rain, Brian, so yeah, we're, we not, we're not upset about it. The well, plants we don't need severe weather.